Well, there was one common denominator for all the people putting forward proposals for budgets yesterday. That includes Ntlantlanene, uh, the Minister of Finance, the government, the cabinet, the right to know the people's budget, virtually everybody, the trade unions, Kosatu. And that was the need for more money. The difference, of course, and it's a major difference, is how do you get that money? And once you have it, if you do get it, how do you spend it? Now, government is obviously concerned about uh, the country's debt levels and the fact that we're teetering on the brink of junk bond status with our paper, with the loan money that we get in. The opponents, by and large, don't really care too much about that debt thing. As far as they're concerned, it's the wealth gap, the poverty concern and the wealth, the gap between wealth and poverty. The uh, Right to Know campaign, for example, has put forward a whole lot of spending priorities. But others, including Kosatu, have put down some detail. And it boils down, I mean, if I'm being very reductionist, to soak the rich. In other words, tax more heavily those individuals, corporations and companies that have become extremely wealthy and have grown away from the level of poverty within the country. Now, um, for example, they quote 45% tax, corporate tax in the days of apartheid, down to 28% today. And the poor, of course, all pay tax because they pay value-added tax, VAT. Yet the majority of the country's population live on an income of less than 3,000 rand a month, which is way under any poverty level, defined poverty level. That's the reality for the poor. And in the wake of the budget, this is what I'm going to look at. Because the majority of people, for example, if they require to use an analogy of a loaf of bread, a loaf of bread a day to live on, they only have a quarter loaf or half a loaf, give them an extra slice, it's not going to make any difference. So I wouldn't be unsurprised, for example, if they don't really care too much about what goes on in the budget. And that will be my focus in my Inside Labour column, which you can read on this platform, Fin24 tomorrow, and in print in the City Press business section on Sunday. And of course, welcome your comments, your criticisms once again at editor at fin24.com. Editor at fin24.com. And for this week, in the wake of the budget, that's all from me. Cheers.